Hi, everybody. We're going to do some examples today on connecting uh, series parallel circuits on breadboards and how to prove they're correct. Okay, so the four resistors we're using are 100 ohm, 220 ohm, 330 ohm, and 470 ohm. And we're going to have three different examples of how we can connect those. Okay, so I hope this helps. Let's switch over to um, our board. So the way my breadboard is organized is I put just a little terminal, connecting terminal across the top rail and the bottom rail. And as you know, on breadboards, the rail going across the top are all connected. All right. So the first example I'm going to do is this one. So I have R1 in series with R2 and R3 in series with R4. And this branch is in parallel with that branch. So to calculate RT, I did RT is equal to R1 plus R2 in parallel with R3 plus R4. So it's 100 plus 470 in parallel with 220 plus 330, which gives us 570 in parallel with 550 and RT is 279.9 ohms. Okay, so if I bring my meter into the circuit, okay, if I bring my meter into the circuit, we're going to measure RT and I come up with 276.5. So I am within the 5% tolerance of those four resistors. Okay, the way they are connected is I have R1 in series with R2. So the one lead of R1 and R2 are in the same column, so they're connected to each other. And then the other end of R1 is connected to my common bar with R3. And the other end of R2 is connected to the other bar. All right, so R1 and R2 are in series. Okay. If, if these were not in the same column, then my RT would be off. Okay, now I have 540 ohms. Okay, and because this is an open circuit, now it's only measuring R3 and R4, which total 550 ohms, as we know. Okay, so let's put that back. Another problem a lot of students have is they will put both ends of a component in the same column, like that. So they'll do something like that, okay? That doesn't work because we are now shorting out that resistor. So the fact that RT, the fact that RT came out very close to the calculated value is a 99% uh, indication that I have the right circuit, okay? Other things can happen that might give you a closed answer, but uh, I'm going with the fact that I'm close. Okay, so that's example one. We have two in series in parallel with two others in series. We calculate our T and we get the right value. Then if I was doing a lab, I can go on with my lab knowing that my circuit is connected correctly. If you're doing a lab in any course and RT does not match your calculated RT, then you need to stop and figure out why. If you continue, all of your measurements will be wrong. Okay, so you need to stop and figure out why. In our next example, hey, how did I do that so quickly? Eh? In our next example, I have R2 in parallel with R3. And this network of R2, R3 is in series with R1 and in series with R4. So our current, our current path would be through R1, divvied up among R2 and R3, and it comes back together to R3. Okay, so my formula for RT would be R1 plus R2 in parallel with R3 plus R4. So it's 100 plus uh, the 220s in parallel with 330 plus 470 and I would get my total of 702 ohms, okay? So the circuit I have connected here, I have 692 ohms. It says 0.692K, so it's 692 ohms. 692 is within the 5% tolerance 
of 702. Okay, so the way I connected this was um, I went from the beginning through R1, so through my 100 ohm resistor, and then I connected R2 in parallel with R3 just by putting both ends in the same column. So I have the one end of R1, R2, and R3 all connected together here. Okay, so if you look, they are all in the same row, the same column. And that represents this point right here where the three of them connect. Now, on the other end of R2, R3, they're connected and also connected to R4, which is here. Okay, which is here. So R4, R2, and R3 are connected. All right. So that's how I that's how I accomplish this connection and that connection. So I put all three resistors in the same column. And then the other end of R4 goes out to our own meter. Okay. Another way to do this is if you had little jumper wires is you can actually move R3 just to a different spot, okay, making sure that the ends are in different columns. And I could just connect it this way, All right? I could just connect it like that. All right? And again, I end up with the same resistance, all right? There are different ways you can do this. There are different ways I could have. I could have done this. I could have just connected, but all I'm doing is, is playing word games here, right? I could have just put these two uh, far away from those and then just connected R4 down here. It's basically the same circuit, but sometimes people don't like to do things one above the other. They're afraid they're gonna get into the wrong column. Just make sure both ends of the same resistor are not in the same column. All right, so that's example two. Um, those match. Things that can go wrong here, if, if say one end of R3 is not connected properly. So I've taken the 330 out of the circuit, all right? So what I have essentially now is 100 in series of 200 and series of 470. So that is 330 plus 470, so it's 900 ohms, which I'm measuring right now, all right? If I had taken these two, okay? If I did this and I put the end of R4 in the wrong column, so R2 and R3 are in this column and R4 is in that column, so then I'm connected. And so my ohmmeter is showing an infinite network infinite resistance, which is an open network. All right, so that's example two, how we connected that and confirmed it, okay? So we're gonna get another one hooked up. I'll be back in a second, and I mean it. So in our third example, I have R3 in series with R4. Together, they are in parallel with R2, and all of this together is in series with R1. Okay, so my formula for RT is R1 plus bracket R2 in parallel with bracket again, R3 plus R4, close the bracket, close the bracket. The brackets are important. If I didn't have the brackets, if I didn't have the brackets, it would basically be R2 in parallel with R3 plus R1 plus R4, which is what we had in the last circuit. Okay, so the brackets are important to calculate this property. So uh, I have 100 plus 220 in parallel with the sum of 330 and 470. So I have here 220 in parallel with 800, which works out to 172.55, plus R1, which comes out to 272.55 ohms. So I have the circuit connected here, and again, my measured RT is within range. So my circuit is correct. So what do I have here? I started with R1. I started with R1. And at this point here, R1 connects to R2 and R3 at this point. And that point 
is this point right here. So in this column, in this column, I have R1, R2, and R3. Okay, so R1 is connected to the one input of the circuit, and R2, yet one end of R2 is connected to the other input of the circuit. And there's a point where all three connect. Now, where R3 and 4 connect, doesn't connect to anything else. So I needed to put them at their own column, which is here. So this is R3, this is R4. And then the other end of R4 connects to R2 and to the input of the circuit, which is right here. Okay, that's where all this is connected. So R1 in series with all of this, R3 in series with R4, and these two together are in parallel with R2. So the one end of R2 is connected to R3, the other end of R2 is connected to R4, which we have that here and here. And that's what I have. Now, if these were not connected properly right there, if this point here, which is here, not done properly, then RT gets messed up. Okay? So now we basically have R1 in series with R2 because we have an open circuit here. So let's put that back. Okay? If this is wrong, if this point here is wrong, same thing. If we're there, then that branch is wrong. So it's very important that we get these done properly. Okay? And it's very important to remember that both ends of the resistor in the same column, like this, A connection like this in the same column, both ends, just shorts that component down. Okay? So those are sort of some examples of how we connect the series parallel circuit on a breadboard and how we confirm that it is actually correct. So you need to do the calculation and you need to check it out. A lot of mistakes I see with my students is one, our connections. Two is the calculation. And three, they actually have the wrong resistor. Okay, so before you get started, every lab of any respectable electrical program will tell you to measure each resistor to confirm you have the right components. Okay, so if everything is shooting up super high, that might mean that instead of a brown, black, brown, 100 ohms, that you might have mistakenly gotten a brown, black, red for 1K, okay? Uh, or brown, red, red uh, for 1.2K, it just, you just need to make sure each resistor is correct. Okay, and that's simple to do. And remember, you cannot measure resistors when they're in a circuit. So I cannot measure the value of this 330 ohm resistor, okay, when it's in the circuit. So you don't get the right measurements. Okay, so right now it says 220. So if I pull this out, you have to pull one end of the resistor out to get the right value. So now it's supposed to be 330, now it's to be 25. All right. So those are important things to remember when you're measuring, when you're configuring circuits, make sure you have the right components, make sure you've done the calculation to know what the answer is supposed to be, and then test it. And if it doesn't match, if you're Calculations don't match your circuit. Do not continue. They okay? absolutely, positively do not continue. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Have a great day.